How you doing? Brian Howard here with BKH Credit Group and BKHCreditGroup.com. And in this video, we're going to talk about compliance, right? How to have a compliant business as it relates to business credit. Now, most of you are familiar with lender compliance, right? Which lender compliance is very important. So lender compliance revolves around having a separate entity set up, having a tax ID number, having a true commercial address for your business, having a phone number for your business that's listed in the 411 directories, having a website for your business, etc, etc, etc. Those are uh, some of the general lender compliance issues that you probably heard me talk about in the past or that you've read about in the past or maybe even seen on someone else's platform or forum, uh, you know, social media or, or you know wherever that you know you need to have a lender compliant or a credible business in the eyes of the lenders right there's actually about 20 to 25 uh, different things that make up a lender compliant business but that's just one type of compliance that you need to pay attention to as it relates to business credit and I'm actually going to talk about two more types of compliance that you probably never even really heard of or you probably heard of but never really thought about because you know no one's never really explained this and broke this down to you but this is very very important so obviously the first one is lender compliance which we just discussed that's setting up your entity your tax ID website address phone number and you know about 15 to 20 other things that you need to do in order to be lender compliance lender, lender compliant now the second type of compliant that you need to be concerned about as it relates to building business credit is corporate compliance now with corporate compliance requirements these are actions and things that have to be done within the company so if you're structured as a corporation whether it be a C Corp or S Corporation then this will revolve around things that directors and shareholders would do things such as holding annual meetings uh, keeping up with the dates of corporate minutes right uh, resolutions filing annual reports filing DBAs for the corporation if the corporation has or the corporation operates under different businesses names uh, these are all ongoing corporate compliant items that you would need to pay attention to um, if you're trying to build business credit right now some of you may say well Brian I don't have a S Corp I don't have a C Corp I have an LLC well even with the LLC right even if your company is structured as an LLC there are actions that need to be taken by the members and the managers even if you're a single person LLC now luckily with you being an LLC you don't have all the reporting all of the documentation compared to a C Corp and S Corp obviously but however when you in order to form an LLC you must have articles of formation right with the state you gotta pay your uh, state filing fees every year you got to have a registered agent for your LLC right and also you know sometimes you have to file annual annual reports and different things like that in order to stay compliant and active status with your particular state so even though an LLC by name is not considered a corporation there is still a corporate so a corporate compliance component of it that needs to be met and addressed if you're trying to build uh, business credit so so far we talked about the lender compliance we talked about corporate compliance now the third type of compliance is regulatory compliance and this has to do with basically your business following the law so this has to do with state licenses and permits regulations guidelines anything that's relevant to operate in your particular industry like for example you may have to have a license in order to operate a daycare um, you may have to have you know you may be a uh, you know if you're in the trucking industry obviously you have to have a CDL right or if you're in the trucking industry and you're hauling hazmat then you have to have a hazmat certification these are just some examples of regulatory compliance where in order to be in business you have to make sure that you're following the law and that you have all of the proper state licenses and, and permits right so this is all very 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 important so keep it so the, the store the model of the story is is make sure your business is business credit compliance that's lender compliance corporate compliance regulatory compliance right lender compliance again 
that revolves around setting up your business as a separate entity, tax ID number, website address, phone number, fax number, etc., etc., etc. Corporate compliance revolves around the documentation. If you're a corporation, making sure you're documenting your minutes, you, you, you're documenting uh, things that your shareholders are doing, filing your annual reports, uh, doing your corporate minutes, uh, handling any DBAs, etc., etc. And then thirdly, you got your regulatory compliance, which revolves around just making sure you got the proper licenses and permits to operate within your state. All right. Okay. This is Brian Howard signing out for BK's Credit Group. Just wanted to drop that on you. Just make sure your business is meeting all three types of compliance as it relates to you building business credit. All right. Thanks.